Hello, welcome. In this video, we're looking at Khan Academy trigonometry with right triangles. And we're looking at the third exercise, which is solve for an angle in right triangles. So what we'll do is we'll do four examples. I'll give you a little bit of background, and then hopefully you'll know what to do from there. So in this first example, let's look at what's happening here. We have some angle, and we don't know what it is, but we know that the adjacent side and the opposite side are given. We notice that the adjacent side is 3, so the adjacent equals 3, and the opposite side equals 4. And when we're given opposite and adjacent, if we remember our basic trig ratios, SOHCAHTOA, if you're ever dealing with opposite and adjacent, that means you're dealing with tangent. So the idea is that we've got some angle. The tangent of some angle has got to be equal to 4 opposite over adjacent 3. But what is that angle? Well, that angle, to find an angle, we use the inverse tan or the arc tan. So in other words, the inverse of, of the tangent with a ratio of 4 thirds has to give us some angle with that ratio. And the function that does that is the inverse function. So on the calculator, oops, that's not the calculator. Let's go back here. Let's go to our calculator here. We press second, 10, and put our ratio in. And this is saying that the tangent of some angle is 4 thirds. What is that angle? If the ratio is 4 thirds, what, the tangent of what angle would give us that ratio? The tangent of this angle gives us that ratio. So it's 53.13 to the nearest hundredth. So 53. 0.13. So you can see how these, these two ratios work together. In this first case, you would say that the tan of 53.13 is 4 thirds. In this case right here, look what we're saying. We're saying that the ratio, the angle that has a tangent of 4 thirds is 53.13. So it kind of takes this information here and here and swaps it around as inverse functions will do. In another example here, we're given an angle here, and we're given, what are we given? The hypotenuse is 8, right? And the opposite side is 5, so that's dealing with sine. So the sine of some angle is opposite over hypotenuse. What is that angle that has a sine of 5 eighths? So on the calculator, we just go to second, sine. And if you're not getting the right angles here, press mode and make sure you're in degree mode and not radian. So the sine, the inverse sine of 5 eighths is 38.68 to the nearest hundredth. It's saying that the angle, 38.68 degrees, has a sine of 5 eighths. All right, so that's, that's the value of angle A here to the nearest hundredth. And the next one, you see how similar these are. This angle right here is unknown, but we have a hypotenuse and we have an adjacent. And that's a cosine ratio. So the cosine of some angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. What is that angle? So let's go to our calculator. Second cosine of 4 fifths. So the inverse cosine of 4 fifths is 38 36.87. 36.87. So this just says that the cosine of the angle 36.87 is 4 fifths. I can write it the other way. The cosine of 36.87 degrees equals the ratio 4 um, is equal to the ratio 4 fifths, right? So the angle that has that ratio is 36.87. I probably should have wrote that in all of them up there so you can see. But I think you get the idea. Finally, we have this angle, and we're given, what are we given? An adjacent side. And an opposite side, that's a tangent. So the tangent, uh, the, the, there's some angle with a tangent of 4 over 7. And we want to know what angle is that. So we do the inverse tangent. So in the calculator, you can just press second tan 4 sevenths. The inverse tan of 4 sevenths is 29.74 degrees about. So 29.74, that's the angle that has that tangent that tangent ratio. So we can say that the tan of 29.74 is 4 sevenths. You can see how these tie together. All right, I hope this helped.